What's going on, people? It's the Xbox 448, and in today's video, um, I want to talk about this quote unquote big digital announcement that people have been talking about throughout the weekend, uh, when it comes to Xbox and what it could possibly be. Now, for people who don't know, there's a guy who used to be on Reddit, uh, he's on Twitter, and now he's on kind of like the recreation of Reddit, I forgot what the, the title of that, that website is called, but it's a guy named The Huge. Now, when it comes to Z Huge, I've had a couple run-ins with him on Twitter, and uh, I do have to say from what I've seen from this guy, he is uh, kind of biased. Um, it seems that he likes what PlayStation has been doing this generation. He is kind of called out Xbox in certain things that I, I felt really there was no need to call them out on. Um, you guys know if you follow my channel, I will I will call Xbox out on things when it definitely needs to be done. Um, the Elite Controller definitely. When it came to games in 2017, there was a lot of people going out on a limb saying, you know, Xbox has no games whatsoever. And uh, I had to point out the previous years and kind of like the games that they have been giving us, you know, since 2013 and kind of like those experiences. And there are going to be kind of like low years within a generation. But with that being said, let's get on to what Z Huge just said. And he came out on this kind of like recreation of uh, Reddit or whatnot. Um, this recreation of this website that he used to go on as a quote unquote insider. Uh, um, what was it? I, I think it might have been, uh, I forgot what the website is, but anyway, like, I know him from Twitter, right? Um, and he came out with a post, uh, kind of like stating that, you know, when it comes to Xbox direction on, uh, digital games, digital sales, that there will be an announcement next week. Now, he said this last week, so that means the announcement is coming this week. He went back and changed his post to uh, sooner rather than later, but at first he said next week. So it left people to speculate, you know, what is Xbox going to announce? And there was a couple things thrown around, and um, two things are really predominant here. And, and one of the things is family share, which uh, will allow a certain number of people that you pick um, to share your games with. Now. People have tossed around the number five. Some people have said ten, or whatnot. But you, you get the idea. You can pick like five people to share games with, and uh, you share the digital license with those people to play those games. Now, the other thing is digital trade-ins. Now, uh, you know, with digital games uh, being more and more prominent, like more and more people are buying digital titles as opposed to getting the physical discs and so one of the things that that is kind of like the downside of, of buying digital is you can't really trade in your license you know when you're done playing you know you're not going to play the game anymore anything like that so uh people are speculating that xbox will come out with a digital trade-in system not only that there was a, a few months back um they came out with a survey asking people you know what would be a good price point for a digital license to be traded in so uh with all that said and done um i i think it could be one of those two things or, or we could be completely wrong here and it's something i mean if you know xbox they'll they'll, they'll talk about a big announcement and it's nothing you know what i'm saying they talked about hey conquerors returning to xbox and it was through project spark so there are points in time where we think it's going to be a huge announcement and Xbox says it's going to be a huge announcement and it turns out to be something we don't even want. You know what I'm saying? Or a, a huge letdown. So keep that in the back of your mind as well. But when it comes down to this, if, if it's between these two things, I would have to say digital trade-in would probably be the one if they do announce it would be the one out of these two digital traded would be the one that they announced and uh, there's there's a couple reasons for this now the first reason is the survey like i said a few months ago they came out with a survey asking people 
you know, what would be the decent price point for a digital trade-in. Now, they wouldn't be doing this if they didn't have a good idea of how they would work the trade-in into their system. So they would know a way to do this, and they're asking people, you know, what would be a fair value for a digital license to trade in uh, to get, you know, money put on your Xbox account or whatnot. Uh, when it comes to the family share, I wish they would do that. That's the one I would want them to do, but I think it would be a, a lot harder of a process to kind of have the system, you know, keep in mind the five people that you're, you're doing this family share with uh you know going online to make to make sure that the person who's using the game is a part of your family share list it just seems like there's a lot more technical things that need to be done when it comes to family share and it, it seems like it would be a harder process to kind of like cement into xbox live so when it comes to Game, digital game trade-ins, it seems like that would be an easier process. It would be something that they could really implement. Something that um, the community wants as well. If you think about it, the community has been asking for a digital trade-in. And it would be really cool. I think it would be the first console that would offer this, um, this type of service to their gamers. And it would be innovative in the console space. And um, it would make other companies have to look at that and say you know what uh this is something we don't have we might want to get you know involved in this it seems like something that you know gamers are are interested in now uh the price point has been bounced around about 10 percent. so if it's a 60 dollar game you would only get like six dollars back or something like that which i actually feel is okay because when you look at it uh xbox already has this like this kind of like um reimbursement trade-in offer that if you buy a game digitally you play it less than two hours uh you know you can actually say you know what i don't want this game and get your money back so unless unless you really don't like the game you know um i, I mean after two hours of gameplay i don't see where that price point would be bad but all in all, I think it is the digital share, uh, digital trade-in more than the family share. And, and that's what I think. But as usual, guys, hit up the comment section. Let me know what you think, what it could be, what it could possibly be. Are we going to be let down? Uh, hit up the comment section. Let me know. If you like the gameplay, you like the topics, definitely hit that thumbs up button for me. And as always, subscribe. But as for now, this is the Xbox 448. And I am definitely signing off.